In 1999, Pakistani forces crossed into the Kargil Heights inside India-administered Kashmir. The fighting shocked the world and pushed India and Pakistan toward a bigger war. The United States watched closely. Washington used heavy diplomacy to stop the battle from becoming a full war, pressuring Pakistan to pull back and helping push for a peaceful end. That U.S. pressure was a key part of how the crisis ended. A wild idea floating around then pushed by some stories and rumors was that outside powers might take extreme steps if things got worse. But the real tool the U.S. used was diplomacy and pressure, not open threats of mass destruction. By 1999, India was already a declared nuclear power. It had tested nuclear devices the year before. In May 1998, that changed the whole balance. Both sides knew nukes were now part of the picture. At the time, India's prime minister was Atal Bihari Vajpayee. He didn't back down. In public speeches during the Kargil fight, he warned Pakistan in very strong words, raising the stakes and the cost of further aggression. What did Vajpayee say? He made it clear India would defend its land and honor. His tone wasn't just for show, it sent a message that India now had the means to respond, and that further misadventure by Pakistan would be very Cost that mix India's new nuclear status, Vajpayee's firm stance, and tight U.S. diplomacy helped stop the crisis from turning into a wider war. In the end, Pakistani forces pulled back and full-scale war was avoided. So was the world a hair's breadth from disaster? Many experts say yes, the nuclear tests and strong words made every move riskier. But cool heads, diplomacy, and firm leadership kept things from spiraling out of control. History shows how close things can get and how fragile peace can be.